If you've ever seen a Superman movie or read Superman comics, you'll know that kryptonite, a greenish crystal, saps all of Superman's powers. So you're wondering, what does that have to do with science? Well, very recently, scientists discovered a new mineral in a small place in a mine in Serbia called Yadr. And when they investigated this, this new mineral, which is whitish in color, as you can see from the photograph above, they discovered that, first of all, if you shine UV light on it, it fluoresces to be a pinkish orange color. But more importantly, when they analyzed it, they discovered that its chemical formula is sodium lithium boron silicate hydroxide. When the scientists checked this new formula, they found something really, truly bizarre. They discovered this is the identical, almost identical formula to the fictitious kryptonite that's actually described in the most recent Superman movie called Superman Returns. In that movie, there's a box with rocks, kryptonite, and that chemical formula is on that box. The only difference between this fictitious greenish crystal kryptonite and this real new mineral is something called fluorine. Now, what does this all have to do with anything? Well, what's interesting about this new chemical is its name. The scientists probably would have loved to have called this new mineral kryptonite, but unfortunately they can't. In other words, in, in order to name a new mineral, you have to name it with something that's in it. And krypton is a natural element, it's an element in the periodic table, it's a rare gas, there's no krypton in this new mineral, so alas, they can't call it kryptonite. What they have decided to call later on, they'll formalize this name, they're going to call it yodorite, after the place where it's discovered.